And here's what's going on. I'm going to break it down to people because evidently people don't understand how gangster I am. First of all, don't nobody come walking up in the 5 o'clock blue ride without announcing themselves because when they do, it put me at the highest level of festivity. You don't want me to get to the highest level of festivity, but other than that, I'm going to say welcome. My homeboy up in the building right now, man. My man uh, Pooch Howells up in here. That's right. Welcome. Hey, yo, what up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the party. Yeah, yeah, but no. you gotta excuse us. We like to have fun up in here, man. No, I feel you. The energy's crazy. I mean, you know, I got people lining up outside trying to figure out what's going on in uh, New Mexico and El Paso. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, what you, what you, what have you thought of this area since you've been here? It's a lot of sand. <laughs> right? <laughs> so you're coming from where? Uh, from California. From California. Yeah. Now, now I'm gonna ask you this question because I thought of this one while me and you was together earlier. And I ain't no typical person to ask typical interview questions. I want I want to get into your business. Okay. <laughs> I heard you, I heard you was a giant Bruce Lee fan. I'm a Bruce Lee fan. Well, okay, so you gonna be able to tell me how many movies that's actual Bruce Lee movies that he made right on top of your head? Cause fans know that cause you got the shirt on. Yeah. Uh, I think he made I think he made 18 films. 18? Yeah. I ain't gonna ask you the name. Which one was he making and then that he passed away that he didn't get to finish? Game of Death. Man, well, you know what? <laughs> that's, what you that's what I'm talking about right there. So here's what's going down, man. Of course, man, we got Pooch Hall in the house, man. Of course, from the game. The and track. also from Ray Donovan. Yes, on Showtime, Sunday nights at 10 p.m. Fantastic. Uh, Pooch, stick around. Black, are you ready to, to Yeah, let, let, let's get this uh, just, uh, Jay-Z up in that? there. Yeah, okay, we'll, 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 we'll uh, keep, jump into it with some Jay-Z. It's 5.05. Time to sit back. Buckle up, relax, and enjoy this little low fun yeah, but star-studded feature we like to toss together every day around this tiny little thing we like to call the 5 o'clock. Who? Oh, right. These hottest music is Top 3. It is 11 minutes after 5 o'clock, kicking off Labor Day weekend. Ah, DJ Black in the mix and a very special celebrity guest in the Hot 3 studios from BET's The Game and Showtime's Ray Donovan. We've got Pooch Hall in the studio. What's going on, Playboy? Hey, yo, Damien Black, y'all in the building. We in here. Hey, let me ask you a question, Pooch. Talk to me, B. Hey, so, so what's on the horizon? Me and you was talking earlier and you was telling me about this movie. Um, we have movies. Um, we have the second season of Ray Donovan that just got picked up. Um, I'm also writing uh, and producing. You know, I'm not playing, man. It's like, uh, I think... Working in the entertainment business, like you got to have your your hands in everything. Right. You know what I mean? It, it's more than just being in front of the camera as an actor. I think you got to have all types of different things popping off. Um, right now, we're I'm about to head off to uh, South Africa. To no, we, we, we. <laughs> Wait, oh, my bad. I, I misspoke, Black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, man. Come on, man. Oh. You know, we gotta get that together right you now. Know, I gotta, you know, I gotta make sure that you're ready for for the African culture. I hear it's beautiful out there, and um, you know, I'm I'm really excited. Uh, I don't know the entire cast yet, so I can't share that with the people out there. But also, I want to say thank you to the people for supporting me, having me out here. We're going to be in Club MB tonight doing a real big. But uh, I need you guys to get behind Ray Donovan. Yeah. Showtime's number one hit right now, Sunday nights at 10 p.m. And uh, You're in a great spot, too, because you're coming on right after Dexter. It's the last season of Dexter. There's a lot of interest. And uh, it, I, I think that it's sort of tailor-made to, to hook Fans who like Dexter, it's, absolutely. It's not quite, not quite as dark, but it's, um, it's. Uh, I don't know. How, how would you, if, if fans haven't seen Ray Donovan yet, how would you describe it to them? I would describe it. It's a, it's a show that, um, it's its own animal. Like a lot of people have been comparing us to uh, The Sopranos. We're probably gonna pick up where The Sopranos left off. Shout out to James Gandolfini. Uh, rest in peace, uh, James. He was someone I look forward to working with. He was on my bucket list. And uh, Ray Donovan is a show that uh, it takes place in L.A. It follows uh, Ray Donovan, who's played by B.F. Shriver, who's a Hollywood fixer. Now, he has the answers and all. Um, he fixes all the problems for all the Hollywoods and meet. But the, uh, he doesn't have the answer to his own family, so he's has uh, all types of different things going on with his family that he just he just can't seem to. His dad, uh, played by John Voight. Yeah, Mickey Donovan. The legendary. Uh, he also plays my father too, and like I play Daryl Donovan, who's like I'm literally like the black sheep, like literally. And uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, literally. Well, let me ask you a question, man. Going from a uh, CW to BET to Showtime, yeah. I mean, how, how does that how does that feel? I mean, because it got to be a different thing. Oh, it's 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 definitely different. Black. I mean, it's like night and day. It's like I would say it's kind of like 
a college athlete who was like the star uh, of his of his football team or basketball team, and now he made it to the league. Yeah. You say. Well, and, I, I have to apologize to you too, man. Why's that? I mean, cause you know, me and you was walking through the airport. Uh, all the girls were screaming at me. I tried to tell him. Well, I saw your face. No. I mean, you had somebody <laughs> farted face. Well, you know. <laughs> And I was like, well, no, ain't nobody farting, man. I go through this all the time. But so. I, I did actually bite into a lemon. I think it's the... It oh. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, we can do big things. So, what we're going to do, man, we're going to jump into this break real quick. Okay. In a couple of minutes, uh, we're going to let you pull a name for some lucky listener to be able just to... They just want to meet you. Word. We're going to get an autograph. Word. And uh, well, probably a hug. Word. So we got security here, everything. So we good. It's, so they, everybody know I don't play. You saw my karate I kick. I saw you kick. Uh, he literally like touched the cloud with his karate kick. It's yeah, well, I pulled a muscle too. 5.15 right now. We've got Pooch Hall in the Hot 3 Studios. DJ Black in the mix. This is Hot 3, baby. It's Labor Day weekend, and you've got it locked in to the 5 o'clock. Oh, right. The mix kicking off Labor Day weekend, 5.22 right uh, uh, now. Damon, Damon, today we changing my name. What, uh, what, uh, what, you're... Uh, I'm Pookie. You're Pookie Hall. Hall. Pookie Hall. <laughs> right, I got you. Yeah, Pookie Hall. Pookie man. like on uh, New Jack City. Yeah, that, exactly. People I just don't know that about me. See, and you accuse me of not watching black movies. Yeah, you don't watch that. Yeah, you watch uh, uh, wet TV. <laughs> white entertainment. I, we, I don't watch that one. White entertainment television. Yeah, I don't watch that one too. I, they got oh, a black yeah. movie, I can't watch it. I can't relate. <laughs> but speaking of uh, people that's acting, we got Pooch Hall up in the building. Now, Pooch, me and you were talking earlier. I was watching the movie the other night. Yeah. I just had it on. And all of a sudden, I looked. I said, hold up. That's Pooch Hall. Blue Hill Ave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, cause I, I know you had a big speaking role. <laughs> um, I, I, I said a few lines. I yeah. Mean, you got to start somewhere, Black. I yeah. mean, um, yeah, wow. yeah. I, I, I know you had to practice that. So, hey, we're going to get him. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you had, but you but the way you nailed the yeah, I'm I knew you had a bright future yeah. in front of you. I'm a natural. Yeah, so how did how did you come up with that? How did you get that movie? Um, I auditioned. You know what I mean? Like in the beginning, like you you, you gotta get in where you fit in, you know what I mean? So yeah. like I'm trying to just get on. And I did a lot of commercials, man, like when I started, like I did a lot of commercials and, and eventually, you know, I started in New York, so like once I kind of found my, my legs, my agent, who I'm still with now. Hold up, hold up, Pooch. Yeah. Hold up. We're not going to mention legs because I saw this movie called Stomp the Yard Part 2. Oh. I didn't see you name one damn time. Pooch in Stomp the Yard Part 2. Hey. You, didn't even, you could have did the cabin patch. You could have did the hey, Cuba <laughs> It, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't my job to dance. It was my job to keep them cats in line, man, and make sure they all graduated. Yeah, but we saw the first one when Chris Brown was in it for 10 minutes. Oh. And then I said, okay, Pooch in this one. So let me see if Pooch got this, you know. No, we did go through We did go through a, a, um, a training, a, a, a dance training camp thing, but uh, we didn't have as long as Chris and Columbus did. Right. I heard they had a month and a half to learn. We well, you're not going to tell weeks. Columbus. No, because he would headbutt you. you no. think that? <laughs> that was scary. And I had the big screen TV. I thought I was watching an asteroid movie. Yeah. I said, <laughs> I'm like, this dude got a, like a trail head. I, yo, yo, it, was, yo. it was a Volkswagen with no emblems. Yo. I was like, this <laughs> Love it. That's, that's, that's my man. He's a good brother. I mean, you know, we play basketball together and sometimes, you know, he gets a little upset at some of the calls that are made and he, he may get a little rough. Yeah, I think it's bad when, when your headband is like hula hoop. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. So that movie, you, 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 you did that one. And let me see what I also saw you in uh, Jump the Broom. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Shout out, shout out to Salima Kill and Sony and uh, Paula Patton and um, you know Megan Good, um, Laz Alonzo. I mean, we hope. I mean, there's talks of, of a sequel. I mean, that's what I've been hearing. The Jump the Broom too. Yeah, Jump in the Broom too. Um, I'm not really sure what's going on. Like, I know where I'm at right now. And that's for Showtime, and you know, I'm doing my. I'm trying to. I'm trying to write my own legacy. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know well, you doing you doing a good job, man. I mean, like I said, I've been. You know, I don't know if you knew, but I've been trying to get you out here for a while. Oh, wow. That's what's up. Yeah, I've been trying to get you for a while, man. And we finally made it happen. And tonight, man, in case y'all don't know, it's an all-white party going down at Club Envy. Uh, of course, hosted by uh, Mr. Pooch Hall, Mr. Uh, Second String, good-looking man in here today because of me. That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're just tuning in, we've got Pooch Hall in the Hot of Three Studios right now. DJ Black is in the mix. All week long, we've been qualifying listeners to meet you, Pooch. And if you'll reach into that cup right there and draw a name, I'm going to tell you, well... I guess I don't gotta tell you. What do we got, Damien? Why don't you pull it out and uh, oh, like? We got a number on here. 
Yeah, they got they put they sell number everything. Um, That's right. Okay. okay, that looks like a guy's name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, name. sorry, uh, whoever whoever that guy was, uh, Pooch is making the rules right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I have a name. Okay. <laughs> we have. Oh, do you want to read no, it? No, no, go ahead. No, I, go ahead. It's you. Vanessa Rios. Vanessa oh, Rios. Oh, man. Ooh, Vanessa that sounds like, like a porn name. Rios. <laughs> I hope she's not the one who guessed uh, Tamara Mowry. No, no, we were chopped up the neck. We, uh, we hung up on that one. All right. So, Pooch, we want you to hang around real quick. We're going to get crunked up in here, man. Is that cool with you? Turn it up. All right, let's do it. It's 526, baby. This is Hot 3 Pooch Hall in the building for the Pop Clyde. Today's hottest music is Hot 3. It is a Labor Day weekend. You've got it locked into the Pop Clyde Who Ride on a Friday. A star studded affair. Hey, thanks, D. With, uh, you know, well, you're always here. Yeah, man. Pooch. Pooch is not always here, but he's always welcome. All right, thanks, Damien. Pooch, Pooch Hall from uh, BET's The Game, Showtime's Ray Donovan in the Hall of Three Studios with stuff, us. And Stuff the Yard 2. And Stuff the Yard 2. Yeah, we're not going to leave that one out. We're going to get Pooch to do more moves tonight than he did. Jump the Broom and maybe Jump the Broom 2. Now, I did my research, man. I called a friend of mine that uh, said that she, you hosted a party for her in Orlando. And she said, out of all the hosts at a party she's ever had, that you was the coolest, but you was also the most partyless. So what can we expect from you tonight? I would. I'm just me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't go to a club and stand against the wall, man. Like, you know, I think that, you know, one of the reasons why I am how I am is that, you know, I love to have fun. Yeah. And I think that, you know, especially like, like with you, like with your energy, your energy got me hyped right now. Um, it's, it's all about the energy and, and having a good time, man, and dancing and, and, and all. It's not about being the cool guy. I'm already the Fonz, so yeah. like... Yeah, don't have a leather jacket on. Hey. I'm, 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 I'm already cool just by nature, so I don't need to be in a club like where I'm out with, with my people or fans and friends trying to stand against the wall and VIP. Like, I want to have fun. Now, now when you when you got the uh, the paperwork that you was going to uh, El Paso slash Las Cruces, did you have to research it or you already knew what you was coming into? Um, nah, man. Like, the, shout out to Texas, man. Like, I, I get a lot of love from Texas, and they say, they say you go to Texas, El Paso. I'm like, let's rock. Man, what you got mean? a giant fan base here in New Mexico, which surprised me. Word, what up, New Mexico? I don't want to leave y'all out the building. Make sure y'all. Oh yeah, they crazy. Hey, they crazy. Tonight we are going I'm, I'm, in. This is the home of drive-bys and the ice cream truck. Oh. People, yeah, they throw bomb pops at you here. We don't play around. Okay, is security gonna be present? <laughs> yeah, we got time. <laughs> hey, also too, man. Uh, shout out to EJ, man. EJ putting all this thing together. This is this is actually his official white party. And he thought of this when he took a shower and then put no lotion on his feet. So he looked at things out of my party. A moment of inspiration. Damn, DJ. Is he coming in with no shoes on? Yeah, all day. All day. All day. Everybody will think he got no footies with toenails on. That ain't it. <laughs> So tonight, people, this is going down. 200 Anthony Club Envy. Doors open up at 9 o'clock. Pooch Hall will be in the building, and he will be the second sexiest man there because I'm going to come up in there. Women, I got a Brazilian wax. It's going to be off the chain. I'm going to be smooth. The fly can't even land on me without sliding on. But Pooch Hall, man, thank you so oh, much man, for coming to the studio, guys. bro. Shout out to my man Damien. He's going to be at the party tonight. So I'll We're going to get Damien I'll be the there. Third, I'll be the third sexiest person in the oh, building. Well, 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 I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know. If uh, y'all see a white guy look like a pimp, that's Damien. Hey. <laughs> so he's like the baby father. <laughs> and ain't nothing worse than a pimp with good credit. That's a mess. You can have my hoes outside. Can you come sign for me a corner? There's Damien got you. There's a reason that uh, they put me here. <laughs> <laughs> with the controls to your mic hey, phone. Hey, it's all, it's, it's all the women. It's 534 the right women. now. You cut me off. I want to thank uh, Pooch Hall for, for coming by the Howl of Three Studios today. And Pookie yeah. Hall, Pookie Hall. And Pookie Hall. We, more with him in the mix <laughs> next. <laughs> Stick around. This is Howl of Three, baby. We're, we're doing Labor Day weekend with 5 o'clock. Cool, right?